guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making steak covered in a garlic and queso fresco sauce. Alright, I'm starting out here with my large 22 inch skillet. And I have two uh, top round steaks here that I seasoned with some uh, meat tenderizer. Seasoned meat tenderizer and I left them sit out in the warm for about a half hour, 40 minutes to warm up room temperature. That's important for uh, tender steaks. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some oil to my pan here. And when it starts to get wavy, it'll be ready to put the steaks in. And I'm going to fry these steaks for about eight minutes on each side because we like them well. All right, I'm ready to put my steaks in. And like I said, I'm going to do these eight minutes per side. To get a nice amount well done. All right, my steaks are done, and I'm going to set them aside to rest for about ten minutes. Then I'm going to get working on that garlic queso fresco sauce. I have a non-stick frying pan here. I turn the heat up because that burner is still hot. I don't want to get it too hot. And I'm going to add in one stick of margarine. You could also use butter, but you just have to be careful because this will scorch and burn really quick on you. I'm going to turn my heat on low, I think. Now to that butter, or to that margarine rather, I'm going to add in five cloves of garlic that I chopped up real fine. And I'll allow this to melt and let that garlic mix in with that margarine to flavor that. All right, now that my margarine has all melted and the garlic's cooked through, I'm going to add in one cup of heavy uh, cooking cream into that. Just give that a stir. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit to warm the cream. And I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt and some pepper. Alright, now that my cream's starting to warm up, I'm going to add my queso fresco. And for anybody who isn't familiar with what that is, that's a Mexican crumbling cheese, sort of like a blue cheese in a way. I'm going to add in a 10 ounce package of that. And I've never had this cheese before, so it's interesting to see what it tastes like. So it looks like a uh, cream cheese. And after I get this in, I'm going to allow this to cook over medium low heat so this cheese melts through and my sauce thickens. Alright, my sauce is done. It took probably about five or seven minutes for it to thicken up and I had to go in with a fork and break that cheese up because it's really uh, resilient. So my sauce is nice and thickened up. My steaks have rest and I whipped up some mashed potatoes on the side. So let's go ahead and throw this together and see how it looks. Alright, there you have it. Steak covered in garlic queso fresco sauce with some mashed potatoes on the side. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.